Joined now by Palmer Ducar on the day it has been announced his departure from Pacific FC, heading to North Texas SC of MLS next. We'll get into his next destination soon. But Par, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I'd imagine a bit of a mixed feelings. How are you feeling about all of this? Um, yeah, thank you for having me, KJ. I mean, it's 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 not easy because um, it's you. you I've been here for two years, and uh, I mean, if you look at it, both in COVID season and um, but anyway, it's 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 tough. But uh, the way that uh, this group of uh, players, this organization, has shown uh, resilience, and for me, it's 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 been a great pleasure to 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 work for this organization and uh, very closely with Rob Friend, which which has been fantastic. I mean, uh, it's it's. It's been a grind, like me and him says every single day. Like we're grinding in there, and um, yeah, to be you know to be to be champions, that is that is worth the grind that we that we talked about back in uh, November 2019 when I came to see them. So it is to see this season and not with the champion, and obviously players uh, helping me winning coach of the year. And um, we talk about foundation being late to what kind of club that we wanted to become here in Canada and. To be the second youngest team, you know, to to in the league and to win it, I think it's a statement of uh, the organization and the ownership group um, that spearheaded this um, dream of helping young Canadian players. So, for me to play my part, that I always say that I wanted to do for young Canadian players, and you know, and when when your time when you've done your time and due diligence, I think it's also important that. Um, that other that other can be given opportunities, uh, you know, to carry on the torch. And I think uh, overall, I hope I've done the people of uh, Vancouver Island proud. I don't think there's any doubt about that, my friend. We're going to get into a little bit about what's next and why now in a minute. But I think, and I think I know the answer to this. And having you just spoke about some of the people there as well, but it's clear that there's no hard feelings here, right? This was just a moment for you to no. move forward. Listen, it's it's there's. I have zero nothing with this um, with this organization, right? It was a it was a perfect timing for us to get together, you know, and do something unique and very special. And if you look at the career of uh, Rob and myself, it's like it was it was like it's been kind of following you know, to, uh, you know following each other a little bit, and and you know to be working together. Like um, when I was in Norway, he was in Norway. When I was in Sweden, uh, sorry, when I was in Holland, he was in Holland. Then he went to Germany, I stayed, then I went to Middle East, and then we finally come back and meet again in uh, MLS. He was playing for Galaxy, and I was playing for Portland Timbers, and then. I retire and then he buys a club and then he hires me as a coach and then we win a championship. I mean, you know, that is, that is, that's a beautiful story, right? That tells you that in football, like, um, and the mutual respect, you know, the fight, the, given how he is as a, you know, as a, as a player is the same that he is as an owner, you know, fighting, you know, never gives up and everything. And, and for me, it's, it's, I cannot thank the organization enough and the ownership for giving me this uh, opportunity to, to represent the club that they want this club to be looked at inside and outside right and to build a strong foundation which uh, which can be relayed upon for years to come so for me it's it's like like we all know in this game is about doing your job to your best of your ability laying foundation and hopefully people can take over it next and carry on the torch which is keeping on uh, building on the Vancouver Island yeah, leave it better than the way you found it, right? Exactly, yeah. That's always the way it is, right? So you play your part and next man take over. So definitely nothing. I have nothing but respect because it takes a lot of uh, guts to say, you know what, you want to start a football club, right? It's not many that have the guts, but also to say, let's do it with young players. Let's, let's, let's believe in this Canadian. Let's give Canadian pathway. Like you look at our squad, it's players that have been passed on. Right, it's players that have been passed on, players that went into the academies of this uh, of the MLS teams uh, in Canadian MLS teams, right? And now they're writing their own stories, and there's nothing more beautiful than that, right? Seeing young players being given opportunities and showcasing that they also possess those uh, qualities and able to play at the highest level. For me, those are the most beautiful moments. You talk about guts. It also takes guts to walk away from a championship team. You win the championship on the 5th of December. You win coach of the year not long after that. 
you'll be forever known and you'll forever be in the hearts of Pacific fans. But I know they would love to ask you, so I will. Talk us through the timeline. How hard has this been for you as offers have come in? Why, in the end, was it something that you needed to do now? I mean, it's, it's as everybody knows, it's everybody who knows me knows that that's one thing I've always said. And that's why it's so, it's crazy how the timings are in life. You never know. Anybody that, if you speak, if you just speak and then you ask them, where does power want to live? The first thing they will say, Texas, Dallas. That I've always been that way when I was playing in MLS. And the first time I came, like, listen, I found my spot. This is where I'm going to retire. But also just being in MLS and seeing how FC Dallas has uh, done with their academy system and other things they produce, those things speaks to me, right? And having a conversation with them, um, uh, what was it? It was 10 days ago. Uh, like 10 days ago because um, there were other opportunities as well which for me was not right because I always said if I'm leaving Pacific I'm leaving for something that for my own path and for my own development gotta be right yeah. right everybody knows I have ambition that I want to coach MLS but I don't want to coach it by all means right I need to go through my path that I need to go for my own self because MLS is MLS is not going anywhere, right? So for me, it's about taking my steps in my path, in my direction that I believe will be the right thing to set me up. And that's why also I chose to come here in Pacific, you know, make those steps so to build myself up. And again, to have that opportunity with, you know, with this organization and the ownership and also especially with Rob, we work in daily and who give you the freedom to work and the trust, the incredible trust and uh, to work with that for me was the greatest thing that could happen. And that resulted into a championship and coach of the year because of the organization, because of the players as well, right? So I always give my uh, gratitude towards the players because as a coach, you are who you are, but your players makes you or break you. So for me to be, to have the confidence and them allowing me to coach me was fantastic. And then it is, uh, you win and then you get home, you like, and you think in exact the same moment, day after, I'm like, okay, next next is try to win the uh, Conquer Cup League. Next is try to win uh, the league again. Next is try to win, win, um, win, what is it again? The Canadian Championship, because you could smell it. You're like, Phew. you went toe-to-toe, right? With, uh, with them and the group, you could see the energy of the group. They're like, now they knew about what is it about, how and to win because that is the most difficult thing in sport. You have people playing maybe their whole career. They don't even get to smell to play a final or anything. And we have this group of young players and we did it in that third year as a brand new club, right? That is unique, right? It's very few uh, sports clubs that, especially in North America, that have that have done it and they've been so young and just won. And, um, and you do that all and then you're like, okay, and then come this great opportunity where you can be in, in my eye, one of the best organization in, in MLS that, that wants you to help uh, carry on uh, helping and developing their young players, given that that is what is in their DNA, which also suits me. And, and, and for me to be given that uh, chance in the organization to continue my growth and being challenged, that was, that was very important to me. You know, and also hopefully lay down roots uh, because I, I I wanted to always live in Dallas, but now I, I want to see if the missus love it, and if she's love it, then then is then it's done. You know, and which which I know she will. So for me, that was about it, right? And if she says that this is it, then you know you can build down your roots there forever. And we all know in the coaching you can move, but that was also a place that I wanted her to see, so we can lay down our foundation for our future. So that right. was those are the reasons that that also was playing for me and and it's never easy to walk away from from something that we've built you know and but at times sometimes you know that is the best way to also end when you have been in the club and you've given your all and you know and you know all right you 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 live in with the head high because we did I, I, I did what I promised them that I would do, which is to win them a championship, you know, not only for the club, but also for Vancouver Island, because we deserve it after seeing, um, it was what, 50, 56 years, right? 56 years since they ever had a title. It has ever, is what, the longest drought, you know? So for us to be able to do it, it is huge, yeah. right? And so leaving, leaving on the high is always, is always the best way they say, but sometimes 
you know, you feel guilty because you think you're leaving people behind and uh, stuff like that. But I mean, for me, it was the right decision. That's very fair and very well put. Obviously, the trophy at the end of it is a reminder of your time here. But how will you look back at your time within the CPL? And, and how are you, and maybe you got asked this in your interview for your job that you've just taken, but how are you a better coach now than you were the first day you became a head coach? Ah, it's through the grind, man. I mean, every every single day, I mean, the players challenged me, my staff challenged me, Rock challenged me. So having those challenges for me was was huge. But also I lean on my experience of uh, playing football, but also being an observer with people around me and just observing how how people are and how to treat people. For me, I always say the respect is the most important thing and treating people for who they are. Because I will never look at players as assets. For me, players are human beings. So for me, if I understand the human being, I know I will definitely get the best out of the player. So those things was very important to me. And the same went with my staff. Right, my staff is not my co-workers. We like we family because to do something special like we did now, you know, you bonded for life because of the work, you know, and the grind that we all put in, especially in these past two years. I mean, I, I look at it with fun and great memory because especially the 2020, I always say this to people, that is where we won the championship. It's not this year. We won the championship because of last year with the pandemic. We had an extension. We had an extended time of period where we could truly go to work with the uh, fundamental things that we could bring and the things that I wanted to see out of the players to see, you know, how is their commitment? You know, now the game has been taken away from you. You know, <laughs> you didn't walk away. You the game was taken away from you by a by a disease. Now, how do you leave? You know, you cannot even go out of your house. How does that do to you? What kind of mental state are you going to be in? So our championship was actually won last year. I was yesterday talking to Lucas McNaughton. And then he's like, imagine if they did a documentary of uh, All In about our season from when we started to when we are now. It's like, it would be amazing because just to see the growth, but to see the hard work that was put in there, that's how we won the championship, right? And going to that, to the PEI experience, coming back, you know, whether we start a season or not, then we start the season, we go again in another bubble, and then we come back to our home market and finish it off with a championship. It's like, it's amazing. 2020 is where we won the championship. You mentioned your staff there, James Merriman, you're passing the keys now. Um, what yeah. can you tell us about James? Obviously that a lot of people might not know James as well. You yeah. know him very well. What can you tell Pacific fans and fans across the CPL about James as he takes over the reins? I mean, James is an island boy, which is fantastic, you know, for the island. I remember when we were just sitting down talking about... Um, uh, about the game and that's what we always did even when we were in Vancouver right and uh, for the first time I met him uh, I met him at uh, Naimo he was doing hope and health and uh, and I and I saw him and I'm like who's this uh, who's this pretty boy of a coach <laughs> that was my first introduction with him who's this I always call him the most handsome man in uh, CPL the most handsome coach in CPL but you but you can see that he he loves the game you know he's somebody that uh, played but not didn't play the highest level obviously because um uh, injuries or all those things that happen but i mean to see him uh, go this path of uh, wanting to be a coach and truly want to help and help young canadians get opportunities that um that was a little bit denied uh, uh, for him at the time that uh, he was growing up and couldn't play and to see where we at uh, when we spoke about uh, the CPL and us coming together, working together, and to winning the league. I mean, it it took so yeah, it took us two years, you know, and and it's just hard, incredible work every single day, you know, that you put in. And I think uh, the foundation is laid, and for him, he's a student of the game, and I think um, there will, there will be not much change. The only change is just me, but the foundation of the club will be there and he can carry the button. Being also from the island, this this means a lot to him as well, you know, and the support will be there and he knows me and him. We'll be continuing our daily chat, you know, about football, you know, it's it's that's what we do. So it's going to be brilliant. I have no doubt. He can provide to be a mentorship to him, no doubt. What what are his, what are James's strengths? Obviously, you've seen him run sessions many times for you on the mm -hmm. pitch. What, what are his strengths as he goes about his journey as a head coach? I mean, he's a, he, he 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 have a keen eye for details, and 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 he will he will be massive to the boys because he's a different. Where you know me and him could 
could play off each other. You know, at times I will come in hot and then he becomes cold. At times he comes hot. I am the cold guy, you know, diffused. So so we played off each other and 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 he had the freedom, you know. So for me, my staff always had the freedom to put input, freedom and things to see and we would just switch it. So that was the good thing. You know, we challenge each other, which is good. That's what you need. You know to grow and then and the challenge and you know you've been around us to see like it's, it's like it's like a family so 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 for me it's like family there's nothing yeah there's 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 just that nice vibe that we always have and we're going to continue to have it um with him with um with mark village our goalkeeper coach uh renato our kid man you know they're all when we have football discussion i bring everybody and even kira even uh we have the Blue Man crew, Vikram and Chris Merriman too. You know, we have all of these people, legations. So for us, it's one big happy family, you know. So he will also lean on those people. You know, these people have been around and we are a championship team. So we got to carry on that legacy. Yeah, I've seen it with my own eyes. It's true. A real family atmosphere that you've yeah. created there. A couple more for you. I'll let you go. Um, Pacific fans and fans of the CPL would see right now your departure, Oli Bassett, Hajab Rapport, Taryn Campbell, and I know there's news to come, and I know that you've been involved in that. You can't give out names, but what can you send to the Pacific fans right now to say that things are going to be okay for 2022? Because I know this has come quickly for you, and you were part of that acquisition yeah. process with some names that are going to come soon. Yeah. Nah, for, for, for me, listen, I've, like I say, it was a very tough decision, but it was a decision that, that, that was made with uh, full common sense and full thought process and why and always in football you always have people but why they're going to say but why is he doing this but like I say I made a decision based upon growth for myself and where I want to be in the future right so those those things were the most important things for me and for the Pacific fan I mean the group the group is still intact right the group is still intact and that's why for me it was very important that knowing that sooner or later I will depart because when you look at the CPL it is a fantastic league for young coaches, players to come showcase themselves and hopefully get opportunity to move on, right? Which is which is which is what you want. But also maybe sometimes a move internally can be what certain people want. And we've seen it now with, with our two players going to forge. This is fantastic because in that sense it creates that uh build up, it creates that rivalry, which what the leagues need. And the CPL is gonna to continue to grow, CPL is gonna to continue to get better. So if I didn't come to CPL, I will not have this opportunity maybe that I'm getting. So CPL also is a very wonderful place for young and upcoming coaches that want to showcase and understand what is it to be in a leadership position? What is it to lead a squad? Right? That's also what the CPL gives you. So for me, that's why I will forever be grateful to, to Pacific, but also I'll be forever be grateful to the, CP, uh, to the CPL because it's a fantastic upcoming league. I know a lot of people are saying, we, we're not where we need to be yet, of course, but it's going to get there. And for me to be able to play with part of that in, with this league and continue, I will continue to support and play my part wherever I can to help this league grow. I mean, that is it. But for us Pacific fans, don't worry, because we're still the champion and until people knock us out, we're still the champion and there's enough quality in this team still you know we have the backbones of the people coming back and um, we we bring in new players as well um that will also help uplift the, the group to where where they were so i mean that's what you need you know but the pieces are intact so me i'm not worried you know yeah we we champion and the boys have smelled what is it to become a champion now you got to carry on because the next thing is rather than being the hunted you got to stay as a hunter because people are coming for your head, right? So you got to be continuing. I have no doubt that this group with the leadership of Jamar, Bustos, uh, Callum, and Josh Hurd, uh, Mike, uh, Mo, uh, Baldissimo, Matt Baldissimo will be good, right? With, uh, with Matt, will be good. I have I no love, doubt. I love it. Even though you're leaving, it's still we. You're forever part of the club, and I love yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, my man. I love Hey, listen. No, for me, it's always we. I, it's like, that's what it's, I... I cannot say I because you know no. I play my part. Everybody play their part. When we when we became champion for me, it's not Palmo Duca that becomes champion. It's Pacific FC that becomes champions with the players and all the work we do, did together, right? And then with the backing of the island, it's huge. It's like that's something that is unique for me. 
It's like it's like it's unique. Wherever like people tell me, I'm like, listen, it's the island. I did what I need to do, and you know, we did it together, and this is the vibe. So that's why everybody like it's it's wonderful just to see, right? Just to see what we could do here, which is unique. So that makes me very happy knowing that I played my part in you know, and now I can live. Uh, you know, heavy hearted still, to be honest, heavy hearted still. And maybe if you speak to some of the boys, they will tell you I'm a softie, but you know, it's, 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 it's a beautiful moment. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll leave it there, my man. I can't thank you enough for your candidness, for everything, for your kindness throughout the couple of years you've been here. You've been an absolute credit to our league. You depart as a champion. Uh, thanks for all our time away from the camera that we've discussed as well. And, uh, Go to Texas with your family. Keep your head high, be safe, and enjoy yourself, and we'll chat soon. Thank you very much, KJ. Talk to you soon.